Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you um, my Rainbow Loom collection and I'm also going to be showing you how I organize stuff. Sorry, that's my own directional book that's in the way. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you my collection. I actually don't have a lot because today I just took apart all of my single ones, except for one that I got at a birthday party. Um, but I took apart all of them to, to um, have more rubber bands to make more cool ones that take more rubber bands. So yeah, let's get started. Okay. So the first one I have is a zebra print one. And I actually made all of these by myself except for the single one. Looks like that. I just made this one yesterday. It has pink on the perimeter and black and white in the middle. And then it just has a black um, single chain. It's the first one. My next one I just made like a few minutes ago. And this is a rainbow ladder. This is probably my favorite one. It has rainbow on the perimeter and the black in the middle, then it just has a rainbow charm. Then I don't even, I think this is, well, the girl on the video called it the fire, firework one, but it's actually called the um, zipper chain. I have black on the perimeter, pink, green, and blue in the middle, and a green chain. I next have the honeycomb one, and it doesn't really look like a honey honeycomb because they're like all smushed together, the rubber bands. So I think they could like find out another way to make this look like a honeycomb. And if you want it to look like a honeycomb, honeycomb, excuse me, you'd have to like pull these apart. And I don't think you'd want to be doing that the whole day, showing everybody. This is actually I didn't make this one. I got this at a birthday party for a favor. It's just a single one with uh, pink, green, and orange. And then I actually made all of these except that one. So, yeah. I made this one a few weeks back. It's a fishtail one. Looks like that. It's pink and blue. Like that one. Then this one is, I believe, a triple single one. Yeah, but I try to make it like infinity, so it, like all, all like twisted and stuff. So you can't really wear it that well. It looks like that. And as you can tell, like if you look closely, those bands right there are actually like twisted. And it's like once this is its normal shape, like that. I next have the butterfly one, and I forget who made this one, but yeah, I think it's really cool, and you should go check out his video, and I am actually not really sure who made this, so comment below if you know his username, because I forget. It just looks like a butterfly. And I made this for Spirit Day. It's a starburst one. And yeah, those are all my bracelets. And I actually had like 10 more, no, like 3 more fish tails and a few more starbursts. But I actually gave them to my friends for their birthday. So yeah, those are all my bands. And I actually had a few more, but. And anyway, so this is my box where I keep all of my rubber bands. It's like that. And so you just open it like that when you want it to do your emblem. Then the very first thing you see on the top is the um the instruction manual. I actually still have this from the box that the rainbow loom actually came in. And then so on the side over here I just have the loom 
where you make your bracelets. And then I also have the crochet thing that you, you know, move your, loop your rubber bands with. If you know what I mean. Then, so this is my, uh, rubber band box. I actually just reorganized this today because it was all, like, messed up and the colors were uncertain. Well, they weren't in where they were supposed to be. And my boss shoes went by. I was sick today. But not in fun. So I have all of my clips in that one. I have the kind of clips I have. I don't have the oval ones. I really want those ones though because they sound cool. But I have um, the infinity clip. People either call it the infinity one or the S clip. I have that one. I also have the C clip. And then I just have all my colors. Green, purple, blue, green, like multicolored, uh, multicolored white, orange, white, dark blue, like these cool faded colors right there. Pink, black, yellow, this one's in there, and the black is supposed to be there. And then like turquoise, um, Yellow, red, and purple. That's all I can fit in this tackle. This is actually a fishing box. You can actually put a rainbow loom in this. So that's what I like about that. And then back here, I just have all of my refills of colors. Like I have some multicolored packs, and then I just have yellow, pink, green, purple, orange, white, pink red and black. Then in here we have other the one color I don't have in here is the blue. Because they ran out of blue store. And now I'm gonna be doing some organization tips. Okay. Okay. So so a few tips to stay organized is to have like somewhere to keep all of your bracelets and I keep all my bracelets in my jewelry box and I have like my ID and stuff in there and I can't really show that um but you can't you can like you should get like a box like this to stay organized and you should get a tackle box to keep all of your rubber bands and always keep your instruction on top and whenever you're done with something put it back in the back so you stay organized and you should always keep like extra rubber bands in case you run out of the color and you're in like the middle of a bracelet or a charm or anything you're making like just so you stay organized and you should also keep this in a safe place and I keep this in a safe place so if you see that little black spot like right here with my fingers like right there like the place keep it right there like when I'm done with it in a day. I basically do rainbow one like almost every day. And I just like slide it in there. Like that but I put it back further to keep it there. So yeah, um that's basically it for this video. So comment below if what kind of bracelets you want me to bake and I'll actually show you step by step. And tell me if I need better quality. Be nice about it. But I might be getting um, an uh, edit thing for this. So yeah, um, just tell me if you want to see anything else. And yeah, bye.